Today, our News 4 family honored our longtime colleague and very good friend, Wendy Rieger. Wendy passed away from brain cancer, as you know, last month. And today, there was a private memorial service to celebrate her incredible life and her beautiful spirit. We wanted to share some of today's service with you because we know that Wendy was part of your family, too. Here's News 4's Pat Collins. This was not like your Aunt Betty's memorial service. No, not this one. You see, this one was for Wendy Rieger, and it included a Native American dance of life that had people on their feet. In a church embedded in the Bethesda woods, friends, colleagues, and those touched by Wendy gathered to celebrate her life. And in our city, Wendy had a big reach. If Vance was the soul of our newsroom, Wendy was the spirit. Wendy was a terrific wordsmith, the poet laureate for News 4. When times were troubled or COVID crashed our lives, Wendy's words would soothe our soul. Larger than life, one of a kind, the real deal. When you're talking about Wendy, those were not cliches. She owned those labels. Wendy liked to say she lived life loud and large. Want to know how she felt? Just ask her. Like the time she compared the ebb and flow of an ocean storm to a romantic misadventure. Well, then it just does this. It goes all flat and it starts looking like uh, nothing much. Uh, kind of like my date in life. Wendy Rieger was like her own weather pattern. Sometimes she would walk into a room with a clap of thunder. Other times it felt like a tornado. But most times it was sunlight. Wendy was the sun. Wendy was a beautiful woman. She never took a bad picture. She was delightfully dangerous, a risk taker with a mischievous way. Here are my keys to a successful Stanley Cup win. I'm wearing Armani Red lipstick every time the caps are on the eyes. I have a special potion for Mr. Holtby, the Holt Beast. Four smoochies representing the four wins. Get it? Four wins? Because that's all it takes. And finally, my ultimate magic power. I am kissing a picture of Tony Kornheiser every hour on the hour in a counterclockwise procession because because it's Tony. Wendy was indeed the life of the party. And there's stories and stories and stories, many of them not suited for TV. Wendy was that cool chick in class you wanted to hang out with. And if you were lucky to hang out with her, then you were cool too. And I've never met somebody who, when they walked in the room, it wasn't like the party was about to start. You wondered what party she was coming from. Dan Buckley, Wendy's husband. Dan's a former NBC4 cameraman. They've only been married a short time. He was with her when she had open heart surgery. He was with her as she battled that brain cancer. We were always holding hands, driving in the car, walking to Rodman's to get her favorite pate, laying in bed, we'd be holding hands. Sometimes in the middle of the night, I would feel her hand on my chest she said she wanted to feel my heartbeat, that it grounded her. I was holding her hand when she took her last breath and her heart stopped. Wendy Rieger died on April 16th. The party's not over, but it will never be the same without her. I'm Pat Collins, News 4 Washington. It's true, it will never be the same without her. We miss her oh, a lot. We do, dearly. but she left us a lot of good stories and memories, didn't <laughs> yes, she? Yes, most of them that today. we can't uh, share yeah, on, exactly. <laughs> on TV. We have a lot more tributes celebrating the life of Wendy Rieger on Roku, Apple TV, and Amazon Fire TV. And we encourage you to check those out on the free NBC Washington app.